all scars have a story. I have 20 scars in my body, but my favorite two are the ones that taught me how lucky I was on, me, on being able to get the other 18. One is on my left leg. The other one is on my chest. The story behind these two scars started two years ago, when I was 16. I was diagnosed with a very rare type of cancer called soft tissue sarcoma. This cancer can start anywhere in your body, in muscles, in tendons, in blood vessels, in fat, in nerves, and in your joints. Well, when you're diagnosed with soft tissue sarcoma, you become a survival statistic, meaning that you have a number that tells you the chances you have of living and the chances you have of dying. In my case, according to Cancer Research UK, I had 77% chances of surviving for the first year and 55% chances of surviving for the next five years. This means that I have 55% chances of getting into my 21st year. When they told me this, everything changed. I was depressed. I couldn't find joy in anything, not even in the things I really loved doing. At the time, I wished I could just lay in bed and do nothing for the rest of my life. But my wish came true, because after my first surgery, I was forced to be in bed for one month and a half. Needless to say, I was really bored really quickly. But during that time, I realized two things. The first one, was that I didn't want to lay in bed for the rest of my life. The second one was that everything seemed bad to me until I had cancer. I used to be stressed about things like homework, projects, schoolwork, exams, being grounded, not being the smartest one in the room, and things like that. Only after my experience, I realized that being stressed or depressed is a choice because I was surrounded by love. And I learned that you can get a smile from every situation, even from having cancer. So I decided to be happy. And I keep myself feeling this way with only three things that I learned throughout my experience. The first one, meditation. I meditated to be, to be mentally healthy. Meditation showed me that I could be comfortable around myself and not go crazy by looking at the same ceiling for one month and a half. Some people say that you're either your best friend or your worst enemy. Well, meditation showed me how easy it was for me to be my best friend. My second way is to exercise. I exercise to regain the 12 kilos I lost by not being able to move. As soon as I could walk, I went to the gym every day for five months. And in the fifth month, I was able to squat for the first time in a really long time. Seeing this kind of progress made me really, really happy. I was able to do things that I couldn't. Exercise showed me that I could make myself mentally healthy by making myself physically healthy. My third way is being close to my friends. My real friends, not the toxic ones that I only went out with. The real ones, the ones that visit me almost every day after my first surgery. The ones that carried me two floors just to go watch movies with them. The other ones, toxic ones, the people who I considered my friends didn't even call or send a message to know how I was doing. This showed me that I needed to be really careful on choosing friends. It also taught me that just a few amount of people can change your life in a very positive way. Now, even though my friends are in Mexico and I, and I live in Italy, the phone helps in maintaining a really close relationship with, with them. Today, I don't want you guys to feel bad for me. You are sitting in front of a guy that was diagnosed with cancer and he's really happy. Cancer showed me a pathway to happiness. It awoke me and taught me that life is about doing the things you really love. I used to see the cup half empty instead of half full when I got cancer. But by changing my perspective on life, I changed this. And if this is your case, if you are someone that sees the cup half empty instead of half full, I invite you to find one thing that makes you happy. Only one. And try to fit it in your day every day. Because this can slowly change the way you see things. And changing the way you see things can actually change your life. Thank you.